one of the most unusual and exciting sounds in the world is the music, uh, in the world of music, is the sound of a steel drum. And the foremost masters of that Caribbean sound are my next guests. So please welcome the Trinidad Steel Band. <laughs> It's not much, but it's home. Isn't it nice? Nice lineup here we've got. And a lineup like this, a sensational looking stage like this, could only be the responsibility of one man. Let's welcome him now. Mr. Showmanship himself. Will you welcome him? Liberace! <laughs> So nice to be back. Nice to have you back. Welcome. Well, you know, uh, thank you so much. I got letters on the last show. They said you weren't fancy enough, so I thought I'd wear one of my outfits. It's beautiful. <laughs> Do you think it's nice, quiet, understated, beautiful? It really is. What's That's it made up of? It's made of a oriental obi cloth, and then it's uh, embroidered and jeweled after that. It's tremendous. I loved you at the Empire Room. It was a fantastic Thank you. And, Thank I, and I saw the Trinidad Tripoli steel. Well, explain to them about well, it. You discovered a, them, didn't you? Yes, this is the group that I discovered at the uh, Expo in Montreal, Canada in 1967. And they were so fabulous. They were the hit of the fair, really, that I invited them to tour with me. And they've been with me about a year and a half. And they present one of the most exciting musical. Uh, performances of its kind in the world of show business, I think, today. And it's so unique and different. I've discovered that the music of the steel band has only been around since after World War II, when the island of Trinidad was practically swamped with empty oil drums, such as you see here. And the people of Trinidad put these oil drums to a very good use. At first, they beat out rhythms on it, and then as you notice, some of the drums are shorter than others. That changes the tone of the instruments. So I'd like you to hear how they sound individually, first of all. The basses sound like this. Those are the big drums. And then there's a little smaller type. They become the cellos because they have a little higher pitch. The cellos. <laughs> And then the ones that are sort of cut in half become the woodwinds. And the still shorter ones are the strings. Now, the way they would sound all together, I think, is best described in a very exciting number by Cacciatorian called the Sabre Dance, conducted by their musical director, Mr. Hugh Bordy.